Christian, you're blinking like crazy, mate. Did you say we don't need to request a tow now? 34 laps. The track temp is 37 uh, Celsius. There we go, guys. Okay, Rob, stay calm, focus. Go. Car left. You're on the right, three wide. Hold your line. Clear left. Gave that guy had a slight tapparoo. Car left. Yeah, 52, we're looking at. You're on the right, three wide. Clear left. Jesus, so many dives. Right side. Still there. So early. Clear Jesus right. Christ. I know the tyres are cold, there's no need to break that early. <laughs> On your right, clear right. Right side. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Fucking idiot. Left side. Three wide. You're on the right. On your left. Clear left. Try the other way up. Okay, take your time. Just get it started. Shown us the meatball flag. We'll need to come in for repairs. Yeah, wow. Well. Race control, could you look at that, please? Yeah, copy that. Absolutely. Yeah, can you look at the red sign there at last one as well, please? Yeah, we're on the. Oh, where do I bother? Limiter box now. Jones behind is pitting. Pit exit's clear. Push. Sorry guys, it's going to be a, another by myself one, unfortunately. Car uh, zero double one, you have a draw through penalty for a bad way entry. Sorry Aaron, I was punted. It was, but yeah. Okay, kill me, he's got a black flag. Six, three, two, you have a drive to the for a dangerous round, she's all in collision. Which isn't surprising. Barnett, ahead is pitting. Just fucking idiots. I <laughs> think I'm going to have a drive through for that bar. That. <sighs> one. Just try and get to the end now. At least I'm going to have a good fun now for this one. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace.
Sector 2 is 0.43 off the pace. The actor Jones behind is now... Well, because the cars aren't shitty, it's just... part of the community, I guess, just doesn't know how to drive, so... I love driving these cars, they're fun to drive. Admittedly, they're they're a bit weird at times, and I'm still oh. I'm still trying to get used to them again. But yeah, it's oh shit. It's not necessarily the car's fault, it's people that are driving them. Sector 3 is 0.26 off the pace. That's the fastest lap. Your last lap time was at 1.34. But then again, I've had the same. Alright, Rob, you're reeling Barnett in. The, the same sort of stupidity. Seconds. In all different cars, so it's just people not knowing how to calm down. Sector 1 is 0 0.44. Like, off my the car pace. became glued together with the car that got the black flag, got the penalty, because he was trying to lean on me going through a corner and I couldn't give him any more room because I was already hugging the curb. And then, because we got glued together, we both went flying off and I managed to cover it up. But fuck knows what happened to him. And well, I know what happened to him, he came on backwards and hit me. And, sent my car flipping over so I doubt it what watching some of the uh, watching some of the streamers race it I highly doubt it <laughs> it is the future with some of the drivers so but again I guess that is the drivers not the car so I, th I think I think a lot of people forget that they're amateurs like you know I'm, I'm an amateur of this I'm not particularly great I think a lot of people forget that they're amateurs, even though like, obviously I take me seriously because I want to do well. I think, yeah, people think they've got more talent than they have. <laughs> that was a uh, 134.28. A car 41, you have a drive through hell for causing a collision. <sighs> okay, Rob, the fuel window opens on lap. Oh, he's getting 13. a bend. It will end on lap 23. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Oh, oh. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I keep getting massive frame drops, so I'm <laughs> gonna have to figure that out tomorrow. Two races on the row I've been killed. <laughs> Both on the first lap. At least I got further around on this one. <laughs> well, that'll be a bump and run, will it? You're really Barnett in the gaps now. 3.2 seconds. 3.37. Your lap time was at 134.52. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, Tim T. Sol, if you got something you need to look at, we'll look at it. Turn two, lap six, I've got my golf in. Ah, uh, double. I think you're popping in salmon, it's very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Frames where you calm the fuck down, Jesus. As if it's struggling that much either, but <laughs> I just don't know why it's been a shit. Alright, Rob, you're reeling Barnett in. The gap is now 2.1. Seven, 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 seven. Here it comes. 
Luckily, there's still another flash repair if I need it, which I hope I don't. Balanced E35. You've just done a 135.36. Sector 3 is 0.27 off the pace. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, you can do better than this. I'm trying, Spotter. I'm trying. Stick to the plan. Don't be intimidated here. Yeah, I did, and then I moved it down a bit more because they were still there. So <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. But, uh, I have to have a play. Gap to Barnett. Behind is increasing. It's now 0.7. Car 209, please redress the position. Car 53. A slideshow at the moment. Don't know if you guys can see Sector it or not. Three is <laughs> zero point four two off the pace. You've just done a one thirty five point zero seven. The gap to Barnett behind is increasing. It's now one point six. Sector one is zero point four three off the pace. Ten laps ish. Maybe less. For a second race in a row, I've had to pick twice, so...
134, you're two tenths off the pace in sector three. That lap was a 134.80. Sorry I'm not talking much guys, I'm concentrating on trying to <laughs> catch up with the cars ahead. Unfortunately without a safety car we're pretty much screwed, so... We made up a few spots because people are either can't be fucked or <laughs> might be using this as their uh, drop round. It is only the start of the season, so it's still a long way to go. front has increased to 14 seconds. Yeah, I know spotter, I know. It just went into a <laughs> okay, Rob. That's good consistency. Slideshow mode. Then you're two tenths off the pace in sector three. You've just done a 134.77. I'm not dropping frames on stream either, so it's something to do with iRacing. Sector 
Sector 1 is 0.8 off the face. The only way that I'm going to get any resistance back is if I'm not too slow and everyone's too stoppy. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. But even then, I'm technically too stopping as well, so... <laughs> Front is now 15 seconds. Your lap time was 134.87. off the pace. It's now about 15 seconds. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Sorry about this, everyone. It's hoping for a better race tonight, but that hasn't transpired, unfortunately. was a 135.00. The gap to flop behind is now 18 seconds. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. Still got a couple more laps to that pit. It doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> the gap to Morris ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. B30, but that was at 135.40, sector 3. Car left, clear left. Sector 1 is 0 0.47 off the pace.
the gap to Maguire. Behind is now 1.2 seconds. Box now. <sighs> yep, we're just going to let down. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Watch your mirrors. Our ahead is sharp. <laughs> On your right, play right. Blue flag. flag. Shepard is leading the race. B33. OK, Rob, we're halfway home. We think about 17 laps of fuel remaining. The gap to Barnett behind is increasing. It's now 7.1. <sighs> Called into the fuel calculator, I have enough fuel. Turn, you bastard. The leader, Shepard, is pitting. to Barnett behind is increasing. It's now 8.4. The guy in front is Flock. That last lap was a 134.39. Sector 3 time is fast. Sector 1 is 0.33. Need dead last, but I might as well be. So Barnett behind is increasing. It's now 9.8 seconds. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace.
Thank you to anyone who's still tuning in, it's very much appreciated. This isn't how I wanted this to, to go, unfortunately. Barnett behind is pitting. The gap to flop ahead is now 10 seconds. Sector 1 is 0.44 off the pace. Uh, iRacing keeps turning into a slideshow. Unfortunately, don't think we're going to catch anyone. Not unless they make a royal tid of themselves. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the base. Your lap time was at 134.47. off the face. now 9.2 seconds. I'm going to the left. I think uh, James is going to catch me, unfortunately. So we're not going to finish our first AOC race and we'll leave that. Apparently Sebastian's struggling because I'm catching up with him. I'm sure he'll pull away again though. So that's what annoys me. The person that killed me 
is sitting in the top 20. And I'm sitting down here in 33rd. Because he punted me so far off the track. Coming. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. The last lap time ridiculous. was at 135.04. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Obviously, I lost Gap all that time going into the... 4.2. I lost all that time flipping through the air, getting the car going again, driving up to the pits and basically doing an extra stop, even though I was only in there for a second. Like, stopped for a second I like to traverse the, the pit lane. And, yeah. It should really be a stop and hold. Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. They ruin their race as much as they ruin other people's by driving like an idiot. I think at this rate, James is going to be right on my tail coming onto the last lap. Sector 3 is 0 0.46 off the pace. That last light was at 134.91. i doing better on my tyres this stint though than I did last stint. Whether he says that and then flies through a corner. Yeah. Please, Rob. Shut up, Spotter. seconds. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. Six off the pace. You've just done a 134.89. Be 
the app to flop. In front is now 4.0. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to catch anyone. just don't quite have the car underneath me at the moment. Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace. Let's just concentrate, trying to stay on the lead lap. Sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> it's taking every ounce of my being just to keep this car on track at the moment, so... <laughs> to varying degrees of, of success. The lap time was at 134.89. Sector 3 is 0 0.40 off the pace. In front is now 0.39 off the pace. You've just done a 134.77. Have a look at those cars ahead fight and slow each other down. We might be able to get a few more spots. I struggled that lap. I think the tyres are starting to go, unfortunately. Your lap time was 135.10.
Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Oh, lost a bunch of frames again. seconds. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. You know, I'm losing more time to the cars ahead, so... The cars definitely... <laughs> the tyres have had enough, so I'm just trying try and get it to the end. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. That was a 135.48. Okay, Rob, push now. We'll so what do these stutters will piss off? Sector 1 is 0.25 off the pace. is 4.9 seconds. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. Sorry about this, everyone. Just saved it. We estimate four laps fuel remaining. Sector 3 is 0 0.32 off the pace. That lap was at 134.79. Sector 1 is 1.9 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.27 off the pace. You've got about three laps of fuel left. That lap was at 136.15.
Barnett, behind, is pitting. Sector 2 time is okay. to go. Sector 3 is two tenths off the pace. You've just done a 134.66. Sector 2 is 0 0.38 of the pace. So we're just going to be able to stay on the lead lap. Not really that much of an <laughs> accomplishment though, unfortunately. One more to go. Sector 3 is 0 0.45 off the pace. That was a 134.73. Well, I can only hope these four have an incident. Let's see any way I'm going to make any spots back. Sector 1 is 0 0.39 off the pace. Mm. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. I don't care, spotter. Nice race there, uh, Reese. Oh, no, I can say the same. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant racing tonight, guys. You kept us busy, but damn it, it was some good racing there. That finish up the front. That was unreal. That's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. Um, can we get the top three? To